It's been a New York institution for over 30 years, but now the last remaining Dean and DeLuca store has shut down. You can see neighborhood residents writing so sad, letting the company know how they feel. Now, on the sign, it says they will reopen soon, but those that we've spoken to today don't necessarily think that will be the case. There is nothing in the store, nothing on the shelves, no groceries anymore, and I keep saying to them, you know, Looks like they're closing down. Last time Whitney Casey had gone to Dean and DeLuca's last remaining New York store on Broadway a few weeks ago, this is what she saw. The cheese cabinet used to be just filled with the cheeses from all over the world. I mean, ridiculously expensive cheeses. And the last like week that I was in there, there were like four cheeses. Longtime Soho residents will tell you the store just wasn't the same. Every time I came, uh, they didn't have what I came for. Turns out the shelves were empty because vendors stopped supplying the New York staple after they stopped paying their bills. The New York Times back in April reported the company owed over $100,000 to small New York City vendors, including $51,000 to Amy's Bakery. It really, really hurts where you don't have the cash coming in. She tells us back in April, Dean and DeLuca stopped paying their bills. You know, this year, we're going to have to really tighten up our belts. Pace, a real estate company from Thailand, bought Dean and DeLuca back in 2014. Back then, the company had 40 U.S. based corporate owned stores. We reached out to Pace, who didn't respond to a request for comment. We're a lot of small mom and pop businesses, and a lot of my colleagues also are owed money. Oh, none of us can afford it. We don't have deep pockets. There are two Dean and DeLucas still open, but they're in Hawaii, and they're owned by an independent franchise. So they're not owned by the same corporation that owned the stores in New York. We called them earlier today, and they said that they're getting calls from customers asking them what to do about their gift cards. So the stores in Hawaii I have been calling corporate, but they told us that no one's answering the phone. We'll continue to follow the story. In Soho, I'm Cristian Benavides, Pix 11 News.